Welcome to Brink, Bethesda. So, yeah, it's the first time I've actually opened the game. Ooh, id tech. That's nice. So, uh, let's see what happens, shall we? So, actually, I lied. It's the second time I opened it. The first time, I did this whole intro video about you're on the Ark, and then, hold on. So, escape doesn't do any controls. I guess I have to select the character before I can actually do any changes. I'm going to turn down. Turn on this so you can actually hear me. Of course you want to hear me, don't you? Yeah, you know you do. So, let's see. Yep, 1080. Um, okay. What controls do we have for this game? Movement, WASD, of course, left shrunk crowd. Standard. Invert look, hell no. I like a sensitive mouse. Uh shooting controls. Fire, fire, melee, grenade. Switch mouse up. Okay. That works for me. So, those are the options, I guess. Uh, so, when the game loads, you have this thing that shows the story of you're on a floating island. It's a city called the Ark. Um, refugees started fleeing to the city when waters rose. Uh, people started immigrating to the city, it c became disrepaired, fights broke out between them, blah blah blah. So they split the city in half. Again, it's like TF2, red versus blue. That's what it became. Now, you, it gave you two options. You either save the Ark, or escape the Ark. Well, I chose escape the Ark, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then from here, I guess, uh, okay, we can characters and weapons. Appearance. So you can, I guess, customize your entire character. So I don't have anything unlocked, but I can apparently do a. What could I do? The natural, the afro. Whoa. Tighten up, nah. Oh, that'd be nice, but I have to unlock it. Dreadlocks, no. Cropped. Cornrows. Buzz cut. Might as well be a receding hairline. Let's make it a... Uh... No, that's an ugly color. Okay, what would be nice is if you cycled through the colors like it did in everything else, you could actually see the colors on the hair. Yeah, that's not an option. What is this? Whoa! Uh, I guess that's the different factions. You've got the security faction, or you've got the uh, escapee. Face paint. Hmm. Okay. Face gear. P put on goggles. The dude. I don't like those. I oh, want that one's better. Facial hair. Let's put a little stubble on it. Dark stubble. Okay, that's a nice for that. Um, what else could I do? Body tattoos. Ooh, yakuza. What else is there? Mexican. These are kind of funky. Uh, let's actually do the, uh, let's do that one. 
Change my shirt too. Bandages. Tattered. You could be naked. Let's leave the vest on. Body type. Oh, you could be big dude. Skinny dude. Or medium dude. Uh, jacket. <laughs> the fortress. That's quite a bit. The warrior. Peace sign? Eh, I don't really know if I like the peace sign there. Wasted. The fire starter. That's a song name, too, if you wanted to know. The dude. Oh, that'd be cool. Or nothing. Well, let's go with those straps for now. And pants. What could we do? The warrior. He's wearing cleats. guess the G for now. So that's my character. Uh, yes. Uh, preferred class. Uh, so we've got medic, operatives, so wait, hold on, medics, of course, heal everyone, health buffs, makes life meters longer, rescue in incapacitated teammates, revive, yeah. Operatives, the spy class, Hack computers for mission objectives. Disguise themselves as the enemy. It's like TF2. It's can spot landmines. Uh, engineer. Building, repairing, and upgrading things in the battlefield. Upgrade his and her teammates' weapons. Plant hidden landmines. In soldiers. Charges to complete mission destructor. Complete destruction objectives. Molotovs. Ooh. Never run out of ammo. Ooh, that's nice. And can also hand out ammo as well. Huh, that'll be interesting. So let's do soldier. Uh, what do we got for weapons? Dragnoff, light rifle, SMG, ret. This looks like a scar. This looks like a G36 almost. Um, let's do this. Oh, wait, you can actually uh, weapon attachments? To That's nice. Nothing for now. Top attachment. So you can do iron sights, scope, laser sight, red dots. It's nice. Uh, you can do cl different clips amount. Ooh. Drum magazine would be nice. Oh, so it's an AR. So, hmm. um, s sling, grenade launcher, a front grip. Um, okay. There's my weapon. And there with the pistols. Let's, let's do Sea Eagle. Done with that. Abilities! So we have universal abilities, grenade shooting. Shoot down your own frag grenades in mid flight. You could shoot them in midair to explode them in. Okay. So you can't do timing, I guess you can just do that. C Since an unseen enemy is aiming at you, you can. Into combat intuition, you can sense someone shooting you. Um. Kirk can throw grenades while sprinting. Let's do that. Wait, how much do I have I can buy? Cost was one credit. And I had zero now because I bought that. Okay. And then you have... Things for each class, it looks like. Different abilities. Huh. Okay. Done with that. Uh, I think we're done here. So... There's the dossier. Uh, there's training videos. And apparently you can actually get a thousand credits by doing a training video. So, 
Let's the do basics. one. The following briefing could save your life. You can play Brink in three ways. Campaign mode follows the story of the Civil War on the Ark. Free play allows you to play those missions in any order with custom settings. Challenges That's grant cool. you the opportunity to hone your skills in specially designed scenarios. You'll earn experience points for your successes, such as completing objectives or assisting your teammates, which will raise your rank and unlock new outfits and abilities. New weapons and weapon attachments can only be unlocked by completing the challenges. To win, your team needs to complete objectives, and to do this, you need to be the right class at the right time. Soldiers can complete destruction objectives using explosive charges, replenish the ammunition supply of teammates, and throw molotovs. Operatives can plant computer hacking devices, disguise as falling enemies, and spot hidden enemy mines by iron sighting. Engineers can complete construction objectives, deploy mines, and buff teammates' weapon damage. They can also disarm mines, explosive charges, and hack devices. Medics can buff the health of teammates and dispense revive syringes to fallen comrades and mission VIPs. You can change class at any friendly command post. Command posts, when captured, also apply bonuses to your entire team. Your HUD will let you know when your team has captured command posts. The status of your team's primary objective is shown on the right in yellow, with active secondary tasks underneath in blue. View objectives by pressing and holding tab to display the objective wheel. Make your choice and release tab to set it as your active objective, highlighting it in the world. Once you reach it, you'll have to interact with it for several seconds to complete the objective. The lower left shows the special abilities of your character, as well as your supply meter. You can equip an ability by pressing the corresponding key. Using an ability will spend one pip of your supply meter. The meter slowly replenishes when not in use. Your current class and health are displayed in the upper left corner. Health will regenerate if you can escape danger. If you lose all your health, you will be incapacitated. You can choose to wait for a medic or redeploy when the timer reaches zero. Medics throw revive syringes, which you can use to get back up. The Ark is a dangerous place, so be sure to move more than you shoot. Always stay close to your teammates and play the challenges to hone your skills and unlock powerful weapons. More detailed instructional videos can be found in the dossier on the main menu. Follow these guidelines and you can win the war. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, that was the basics. Um, and uh, I'm going to leave you for now and I'll uh, be back uh, later.